Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our Rhino Rack Roof Rack system with the 54 inch long vortex aero crossbars, the Rhino Rack SX series legs for your race rails right here on our 2017 Toyota RAV4. So you're taking your RAV4 out for an adventure, but you're looking for something to give you a little extra cargo space or you want to carry other roof rack accessories like bike racks or maybe even a kayak or a roof basket or roof box. The first thing you need to do is to get a roof rack onto your vehicle. So what this is, is actually the extra long roof rack system for your RAV4. It gives you a little bit more overhang, which is great for different accessories or if you just don't want to be reaching in too far in to load and unload your cargo. So we have different options for roof racks right here at each trailer. So let's see in this video if this one with the extra long crossbars is the right fit for you, your vehicle, and your adventures. We have the SX series legs, which is designed for your raised rails. So it's kind of a universal fit for raised rails, but notice how well this fits around our RAV4's rails. You can see how we have that rubber pad that fits around that ledge over there. And then we have that clamp, which secures to the back end of our rails. So all this works together to create a really good roof rack system, which is very easy to use very easy to install. So let's take a look at different specs and measurements. Since these are the extra long legs, we'll first take a look at the overhang since that's kind of the biggest perk. Measuring from the end of the tower right over here to right before the end cap, it sits at about four and three quarter inches of overhang. That overhang is especially important with some of your kayak carry accessories because some of them, especially the ones that are load assist, like the Yakama Showdown or the Thule Elevator, require that overhang in order to load your kayaks. But it's also helpful if you want to have a bit more crossbar space and you want to carry more cargo or have more space. You do have sort of a locking system with our Rhino Rack Vortex Aero Bars. With this special blue security key from Rhino Rack, you can then open and close the end cap, which also helps secure your T-Track mounted accessories. Now let's talk about roof clearances. So first is gonna be a measurement from the top of our roof to the bottom of our crossbars. This is gonna be especially important if you have accessories that clamp around your crossbars and you wanna know if there's enough clearance for those clamps also, if let's say you're carrying things like skis and snowboards, your skis with extra large bindings, you wanna know if you have clearance for that too. So measuring from the roof to the bottom of the crossbar, it sits at around two and three quarter inches of space between the two. Now for the height added to the top of our RAV4, it sits at about three and seven eighth inches of height. So that's going to help you out with figuring out if you have enough space for your cargo, if you have enough space for your different clamps. I always recommend though using T-Track mounted accessories because then you don't have to worry about that at all. So my personal thoughts about this roof rack system is it's especially helpful if you're carrying kayaks and you have load assist kayak carriers. If you like that extra bar space and you want to carry a lot of cargo or like larger cargo or if you just prefer having that overhang because it's more accessible and closer to you. Now, if you don't need that extra overhang and you want something a little bit more low profile and doesn't stick as far out past our roof rack, we also have a kit right here made from Rhinorak with the 49 inch long crossbars. Works the exact same way, is also in a great system. We just have different bar lengths. So hopefully this video helped you out with deciding which bar length is the right one for you. If you like more overhang, this is a great way to go. The install process is super simple. All you need are your towers, your crossbars, and your tool for tightening down those crossbars. So first remove the end cap off your crossbar and then align up your tower with that track system on the bottom and just feed that through. Now just bring this carefully onto your raised side rails, just like that. And let the clamp kind of just drop down onto it. Make sure that that rubber piece on the bottom fits underneath your raised rail. Before you tighten down your crossbars, you want to make sure that they're in the position you want them to be. 
So first is you want an equal length of overhang on each side. That's how you know they're properly installed. I like to measure it where the tower is to the end of the crossbar. When tightening it down, what I recommend doing is to tighten it down partway on one side, then continue on the other side and then finish it off. That way you're not skewing it by completely tightening down one side over the other. But once all four towers are tightened down, don't forget to put the end cap back in and then to lock it with your Rhino Rack Blue Key. And once you have all four end caps installed, that's it for the install process. And that was a look right here at our Rhino Rack Roof Rack system with the 54 inch long Vortex Aero crossbars and the SX Series legs right here on our 2017 Toyota RAV4.